you're a seasoned developer or you're just getting started out, it can be hard to keep security in mind when you're developing. A lot of times you're just focused on the issue at hand and not necessarily the security implications. So for example, with our gem file, here there's a security vulnerability in Rails 5.00 and I would have to update to version 5001 to fix that security issue. And I may not know this unless if I'm reading articles or following the Rails blog to see any kind of security issues that are coming up. So today we're going to look at the Breakman Scanner. It's a static code analysis of your Rails code and it'll be able to determine if you have some security issues within your application. Some of these security issues may be something as simple as a outdated gem version or it could be something more severe where you have a mass assignment or some other kind of major security risk within your application. Before you ship out your application to production, you should always run a breakman check as well as a bundler audit. And a bundler audit scan is basically just checking your current gem version and if there's any known current vulnerabilities out there with a patch release for that gem. So to get started with breakman, you can simply just type gem install breakman. This will install the gem and then you can type Brickman to get a code report. And you'll see here that our application has three vulnerabilities, two of which are high. And then we can see a list of the warning types that we have. So we have a cross-site scripting, a mass assignment, and a SQL injection. And each one of these security issues could be detrimental to your application if they are exposed or exploited. And this report really doesn't give you too much information as to what's going on and where you actually need to make your changes. So from within your command line again, you can pass the dash O option for output. And if you put the HTML extension on there, then it'll automatically know to format this for an HTML. And then we're gonna be able to see a much better report. So this save this as the breakman.html within my root application. And this is what the report looks like. So first it tells us what checks are actually being performed. And then we have our summary and you'll see that we have our two highs. And then we can actually have a look at each one of these issues. And if you click on the message, then you can actually see the code surrounding where this issue is coming from. So here, one of our issues is a cross-site scripting error found in Rails 5.0.0. So this is something that we need to update. And if you're ever kind of stuck and want to find more information on what the issue actually is, then you can click on the warning type. And then this can bring up another link and then it'll show you examples of what the issues are and why it's actually flagged as an issue. And Breakman may not necessarily find all the bugs in the different gems that could raise security issues. So there's another gem that I like to run on my applications, and this one is called Bundler Audit. So we'll type gem install Bundler Audit, and this will install the gem. And from here we can type bundle dash audit, and this will run through my gem lock file and it'll see if there's any gem versions that are vulnerable. And here again, you'll see that our Rails version 5.0.0, part of the action view, has a security issue, and it gives you the CV item, as well as a link to this issue. So our first step is, I'll go into my gem file, and I'll update the Rails version to the one recommended that it fixes. As of this recording, Rails 5.0.1 is out. However, I haven't researched to see if this is going to create breaking functionality to my application, However, a patch update should be okay without breaking any functionality. You'll of course still want to run any kind of RSpec or unit test that you have, just to make sure that the new gem version isn't breaking functionality. Back in our terminal, we can now call bundle update rails. And this will install the new rails version. All right, so now you'll see that we have our new rails version installed. And then we can run the bundle audit again to see if there's any other issues. And now we get a green flag, no security vulnerabilities found. We can then also call our breakman again. And now refreshing our breakman report, you'll see that we're down to two security vulnerabilities, one of which is high. And this security confidence is how sure breakman is that this is a vulnerability. So in our users controller, we still have two security issues that could be exploited. So let's have a look at the high one first. So here you'll see where we are creating a SQL statement and then we're not sanitizing our input from the user, so this could be exploited. In our second one, we have a mass assignment. And in this case, for our strong parameters, we have our required user, and then we're just permitting all. So all attributes would be able to come through, and that could create a mass assignment security risk. 
and it can be a pain to keep scanning your code anytime you make a change to see if any new security vulnerabilities is introduced. So there is a way that we can automatically scan our code, and this is using the gem guard. And we can also install the gem guard breakman so that breakman will automatically scan our application. So we'll just install guard and guard breakman, and then we can create a initializer file just calling guard in it. And because we have the guard breakman gem already installed, it'll go ahead and insert in the necessary code within our guard file. So within the root of our application now, we should have a guard file. And you'll see that in this file, there's not much in there. However, under guard breakman, we are scanning for the following files. So we are scanning in our app folder, any kind of ERB, HAML, RHTML, or RB file, and then in our config and our lib directory. So if you're using a folder or an extension that's not listed in here, then you'll also want to make sure that you are adding those in as well. And we can go ahead and start up guard just by typing in guard, and it'll run the initial scan at first. And you'll see that it gives us the whole output, and I want to make a change where it's going to make it a bit more quiet and not so noisy whenever we make a file change. So within our guard file, we can call a quiet true on this, and this will cause it to skip all the information and just show us the actual issues. So once we make this change and we launch guard again, it'll run through the initial risk assessment, and then you'll see that we have our two findings. So if we go through and address each one of these, so instead of calling permit all for our parameters, if we just call permit and then pass in a whitelist of attributes, and we save this file, it'll automatically run breakman again, and it'll see that we fix one warning issue, and now we still have one previous. So if we go around line 68 in our user's controller, you can see that when we're setting our user, we're passing in our ID equals to a user inserted parameter. So if we go back to our normal way for finding our user and we save this, you'll see that it has now addressed that security issue, and now we have no issues left. So breakman should be something that you automatically do for all your applications. Whether you put in this into your continuous integration, I definitely recommend that you do it, and I can't recommend it enough because it is a free security analysis software, and it's something that you can definitely save a lot of time and issues now versus down the road once your application has been exploited. However, keep in mind that Breakman does not replace a peer code review. Despite it being a great tool, it's not going to be able to find everything, and a peer code review might expose some issues that Breakman Scanner did not find. And Breakman Scanner does not replace a full-blown security review from a third party. A third party company will do a deep code analysis of the software to find issues, as well as a penetration test on your servers. However, keep in mind that those third-party scans can be very expensive, so it's best to do any kind of due diligence that you can with something like Breakman. Well, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. For more videos, check out driftandruby.com.